Now that we have completed our code, it's time to test our plugin. So let us save our drawing and do a build. So we have here one succeeded, but we have some warnings. So let's get rid of the warnings by clicking on the Build and Configuration Manager. Click on Active Solution Platform. Click on New. It will create for us the X64. Click OK and Close. And do a Rebuild. So this will be our plugin. It's located in the Projects solution folder and bin x64 debug and here we have succeeded all right next we need to make sure that we specify here the path for our aka.exe program so click on the start and browse for your uh, executable program in my case, I have it installed in the Program Files, Autodesk, AutoCAD 2020, and I have it here, aka.exe. Okay. Now we can start the debugging. So click on Debug. You can start debugging or just press F5, or you can just click on the Start here. Click on Start Drawing. Okay, now we can load our plugin. So net load. Let us search for that location that will be in our projects folder. Multiple, I mean, automate update textiles bin x64 debug and this is our plugin open click on always load so now we should have a sorry uh, update text style command there you go before i click on this one here let me just navigate to the the folder location where we are going to process some of the drawings so we have here in these uh, temp dwgs just get rid of all this text here so these are all the drawings that we are going to process If we open one of these files, let me just double click on this to see the text style that we will be updating. So currently, this is in the, the standard style. Okay. If we type in the style here, you can see that we have architect, ATTR logo, to standard and title block. We will be using this style to replace all of this text here with the standard style. Uh, make sure that you have the proper casing because sometimes it's uh, case sensitive. So we have architect, architect, which is all caps lock. So that is our draw DWG test one. Close that. Now we have open here in another window so now we can run our update text style nice so this is our form so during the form load event we called a method to populate the list box which it did so we have successfully uh, executed this method if le let's say the user click on this browse dialog 
he can browse the location of the folders let's say temp let's say in here dwgs more dwgs we cleared the list box and populate with the new list of drawings these drawings here same thing with let's say we just click on another folder temp dwgs oops, sorry dwgs and style we only have two which means that our uh, populate list box method is working as expected so let's go back to the temp folders where we are going to process those 10 drawings okay next currently all of these drawings have the m text style in standard so let us specify the old text style which is standard and the new text style that will be architect and here our label we have 10 drawings so now we can start with the process so click on this button processing one of ten and this is the file name you can see here that the drawing gets updated to the current date and time for each of these replacements of text style you can see it here that it gets replaced we will open up some of these drawings later on once we are done so processing 10 of 10 and then it all completed successfully so let us check if they are indeed replaced from standard to architect double click on this drawing one here there you go so see all of this we have here now the style to architect yep great so that's it for our project so as mentioned earlier if you want you can tweak the code by adding some validations here and uh, create more testing with the drawing with multiple labels or M text and then try running the code and see how it goes okay that's it for this project and I'll see you in the next video